It is 6.56. Time now for our Sunrise Smart Start on this Friday. We have breaking news. Rochester police investigating a double homicide. It happened on West Main Street just before midnight. Police say the victims are in their late teens and early 20s. They were discovered inside a car at a gas station. No suspects are in custody. The Rochester City School District is changing the plan for reopening. Students will now spend the first 10 weeks of the new school year learning remotely. Teacher unions had pressured school leaders to delay in-person instruction over safety concerns. Parents wondering what would happen if a child or teacher tests positive for COVID-19. Public Health Commissioner Dr. Michael Mendoza says the health department will investigate as soon as there is a positive case in schools. Anyone who tests positive will be under isolation for 10 days. They will be able to return once they are symptom free for three days and have tested negative. Couples across New York continuing to get married, but wedding venues are struggling. The pandemic has put a chokehold on a $74 billion a year industry. Many wedding, many wedding venues rather are struggling with restrictions. Some are now ready to take the matter to court. A hundred upstate venues are behind a movement to increase attendance at weddings to 50% of the venue's capacity. A local nonprofit wants to help low-income workers by creating a housing development in Irondequoit. The future site would be located off Culver Road and Route 104. It would have 96 units. The project is being created by Providence Housing, which specializes in building low-income dwellings. The town board will review the project. A public hearing is planned for September 15th. Monroe County Executive Adam Bello has signed an executive order cracking down on companies that do business with the county that are not paying women fairly. The order creates the Monroe County Equal Pay Certification. The goal is to ensure any business seeking a contract with Monroe County is following equal pay laws. To get the certificate, contractors will have to prove they haven't violated equal pay laws in the last five years. All right, Josh, wrapping up the week with a fine summer day. Indeed, a fine Friday from Hilltop to Lakeshore. Temperatures are going to be climbing into the mid-80s here in Rochester with no shortage of sun, tolerable levels of humidity, and a nice little lake breeze that will keep temperatures right along the water's edge of Lake Ontario, largely in the upper 70s. It'll be into the uh, middle 80s as well, into parts of the Finger Lakes. We had a glorious sunrise, just a few patchy clouds out there. You can see the sun glistening off of our uh, skyline. You see a lot of moisture there to the south and also well back to the north and west. That should stay put for now. Might mean a pop-up shower by later Sunday, but for today, we'll have none of that. Just lots of sunshine and again, highs in the mid-80s. Enjoy. Will do, Josh. Uh, thank you. Uh, that's it for us here on News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update is coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Be safe and have a great day.